An incident at Research Hospital in Kansas City has gone viral. You may have seen it reported or even on Facebook that security removed a man from his partner's hospital room because the hospital and family did not recognize the relationship. But there's more to it. Mitch Weber is live at Research Hospital tonight. Mitch, you spoke to the men who argued and have exclusive new information about this controversy. Yeah, Mark, the partner is still here in the hospital, and I'm told he is expected to be released in the next couple of days. Now, that argument between his partner and brother sparked a fight over whether this hospital discriminated against the couple during a very delicate family matter. Roger Gorley and Alan Manzel might not be recognized in Missouri as married, but their commitment is just as strong. All the times that I've taken Alan to the hospital, and it's been many times, I've always been by his side. On Tuesday, Roger's daughter called to tell him Alan was hospitalized after a phone call from Alan's brother Lee. When Roger arrived, an argument between the two began. No, I did not forcibly have him taken to the hospital. The police and paramedics made that decision. I was getting met with uh, a brother that was overriding everything I was saying. They both told me the nurse asked them to stop arguing, which they said they did briefly, but they started up again. And I said, I'm not being argumentative. I'm trying to get my point across of what's going on with my husband. Roger and Lee tell me the nurse ended up calling hospital security. Lee says he left the room at the time. Roger stayed. I held on. I held on to, to the bed as hard as I could. Hospital security came in and they started to um, hit me. Hit me on the wrist, but it hit me, hit me, bam, 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 because I was holding on and kept hitting and kept hitting and kept hitting. Security handcuffed Roger, and Kansas City, Missouri police then arrived and took him into custody. I had told the hospital staff, I was like, I don't want to stop him from seeing my brother. That's not my intention. My intention is to get my brother medical help. Like that to haul your, your partner, your husband, into a hospital without even talking to me about it. That's like overriding, uh, overriding us as, as a couple of who we are. That would be like me going over to his house and taking his wife and hauling her off to, to the hospital without talking to him. That's all that I ever wanted is for them to be healthy and happy, you know, as, as much as possible. I don't, I don't truly believe it. Um, if you really want me to believe what uh, you're telling me, come to the door and, and say it to my face. Research Hospital released this statement to us tonight. They say this was an issue of disruptive and belligerent behavior by the visitor that affected patient care. The hospital's response followed the same policies that would apply to any individual engaged in this behavior in a patient care setting and was not in any way related to the patient's or visitor's sexual orientation or marital status. Roger doesn't believe it. He said that hospital staff asked him to show proof of the relationship. He says they have uh, power of attorney, but he said just by them, he believes just by them asking to prove the relationship, they violated the law. Of course, we will continue to follow this story and bring you any updates both on air and online at KSHB.com. Live in Kansas City tonight, Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.